In this webcast, we're going to discuss some typical nucleophiles and how nucleophilicity is related to the HOMO energy. A good way to pick out a nucleophile in a particular reaction is to look for a few things. First of which is an electron-rich atom. This is typically going to be an atom with a negative formal charge, as a negative formal charge shows an electron-rich area of the molecule and will typically be part of the molecule that can attack something else. Another thing to look for is a non-bonded pair of electrons tends to be a lone pair. As we remember from our energy tables, the N is the highest in energy, typically, for our normal energy levels. So therefore, a non-bonding lone pair will tend to be a nucleophile. Another possibility directly beneath that is going to be a pi bond. So an electron pair and a pi bond will also be uh, very energetically favorable. You can also look for resonance contributors and show a partial negative charge as revealed. What we also find out is that strong bases also tend to be very strong nucleophiles. In any species with a high-lying HOMO, as we see from our N or our pi, will tend to be a nucleophile. Some examples of some nucleophiles that you'll see is hydroxide or Cl-. Notice the negative charge right on those two atoms. And each time, what's doing the attacking from our Cl- or our OH- is going to be that non-bonding lone pair. Also, nucleophiles we'll see is water, lone pair, an N on uh, our water. Another is a lone pair, the N on our amine, can also do the attacking. We'll also see pi bonds doing attacking as well as good nucleophiles. So nucleophilicity is going to be very much related to basicity. And here's how we can think about this. Consider the series of nucleophiles, nucleophile 1, nucleophile 2, nucleophile 3, and nucleophile 4. And they each have associated HOMO energies shown here, where 1 is lower than 2, lower than 3, lower than 4. Given the LUMO energy of some random electrophile E+, plus, right here, which frontier orbital interaction will indeed be the strongest? I'll give you a second to think, and then we'll come back with the answer. Got it? The one that has the strongest overlap, energy-wise, is indeed going to be nucleophile 4. It's closest in energy to the energy of our LUMO, so therefore the strongest interaction is indeed going to be between nucleophile 4 and this general E+. The electron pair of our nucleophile 4 is the most energized, is the highest in energy, making it the least stable of these four. So therefore, nucleophile 4 has the highest nucleophilicity. And this is how HOMO energy is related to our nucleophilicity. And you'll be able to use this many times to figure out which nucleophiles are going to be more reactive than others.